Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today's definitely an exciting day. Following Apple's annual September event, at which the company not only unveiled the iPhone 6, but also the larger iPhone 6 Plus, and the highly rumored and definitely mysterious Apple Watch, the company released iOS 8 GM, or Gold Master, to registered iOS developers. video I'm going to showcase how it's technically possible to restore an iOS device that doesn't have its UDID officially registered through an Apple developer account to iOS 8 GM. However, there are quite a few things that I need to mention before we begin. First of all, for those of you who aren't aware, iOS 8 GM or Gold Master is essentially the final production ready version of iOS 8 that will ship pre-installed on the upcoming iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus. However, there may, like with last year, be a small out of the box update in the form of something like 8.0.1 but anyway we're starting to get sidetracked again this is the final version of iOS 8 that's intended for public release and like with every GM release you won't necessarily need to follow the previous beta update sequence you can simply update and restore to iOS 8 GM as if it were a public version of the firmware however because certain activation issues still have a chance of occurring I definitely recommend utilizing the beta update method again though this is for educational purposes only. If you want to actually fully test this yourself, you will need to download iOS 8 GM through Apple's official developer portal. I have mine here on my desktop that was obtained through my Apple developer account, and for that reason I will not provide direct download links to iOS 8 Gold Master. Alright, and with that said and with that out of the way, again, the method that I recommend is having a device on a clean version of 7.1.2. So what that would look like is backing up inside of iTunes, so connect your device to your computer computer and then initiate a backup inside of iTunes. Once it's complete, restore to iOS 7.1.2, which is the latest firmware as of recording this video, and then restore from your backup. Once you've done that, you can then proceed. And again, this method will ensure that you do not encounter any activation issues. So let's go ahead and open up iTunes now. And with iTunes open, inside of Settings General About on this fifth generation iPod Touch, you will notice that it is running iOS 7.1.2. I just wanted to show you guys ahead of the restore or ahead of the update actually to iOS 8 GM. So let's focus back on iTunes and get started here. So once connected with your device on 7.1.2, what you're going to do is hold down the Option or Alt key if you're on an OS X based or Mac computer. If you're on Windows, simply hold down Shift on your keyboard and left click Check for Update. While you can left click the Restore option, again, I highly recommend utilizing the Check for Update button. So again, because I'm on OS X, I am going to hold down Option or Alt and then left click. If you're on Windows, hold down Shift and left click. And then once you do that, it will bring you to a selection window. I'm actually going to point it at this updated version of iOS 8, which is the Gold Master Seed. So let's point it at that and then hit open. And once it opens it, it will ask you if you want to update your device to 8.0. And obviously, because that's what we're doing in this video, we're going to hit update. And I'm going to bring the iPod Touch over here and I'm going to leave it up on the display throughout the duration of this video. I'm also going to kind of narrate some of the steps inside of iTunes along the way. And again, I'm just going to leave everything up throughout the duration of this video so you can see approximately how long it should take. Now at this point, it's saying that it's preparing the iPod for a software update, and you will notice that the screen has gone black. It will go into a quick recovery mode screen before proceeding on to updating the iPod to iOS 8 GM. So let's go ahead and get a closer look at the iPod itself here by refocusing. And now inside of iTunes, it's saying that it's waiting for the iPod. You will see that a lot. And of course that will be dynamic based on your device. So if you have an iPhone connected, it'll say waiting for iPhone. If you have an iPad, same thing applies for that. So let's go ahead and just wait for this to continue. I also have a bar below the Apple logo and you will notice that the bars do not line up properly. The bar at the top of iTunes will be the progress of the current step it's on, whereas the bar on your device itself will be the overall progress. So simply refer to that. And at this stage, I highly recommend that you don't interface with your device at all and you just leave it connected and let iTunes fully update it.
And keep in mind that this can take some time and it will go through numerous verification checkpoints. However, don't worry, as I mentioned, I am highlighting a security flaw in the way Apple handles developer updates. So a device without its UDID registered would in theory be able to update to iOS 8 GM. Inside of iTunes now, it's saying that it's updating the iPod software and we have slight progress on the iPod itself. All right, and inside of iTunes, it's moved on to verifying the updated iPod software that's just done locally on the iPod itself. However, it will go through a number of verification stages. Again, though, as I mentioned previously, don't worry, that's completely fine. Just ensure that you leave your device connected to the computer. All right, and it went back to updating iPod software before skipping to verifying updated iPod software inside of iTunes, and the progress bar is continuing to move on the iPod itself. So we should be up and functional relatively soon. All right, and as you can see inside of iTunes here, we have a new message stating that the iPod has been updated and that it's been restarted. So I'm going to click OK to that message and we're actually going to close out of iTunes now because it has fully finished restoring to iOS 8 GM. And now it should just go through this quick stage where it has to consolidate some of the updated files on the iPod Touch itself. So we will see another progress bar, but don't worry, that's fine. It's typical of any iOS update. So as you can see, we now have the progress bar. Just let your device do its thing and definitely don't interface with it or press any of the buttons at this point.
All right, so it's finished and it's rebooting into iOS 8 now. We will have a quick update setup screen, but other than that, we should be right into iOS 8. It won't take long. I'm just going to swipe through the steps really quick right now. So I'm going to tap on continue. I'm going to disable location services, tap OK to the disabling, and we're going to skip the Apple ID step. So I'm going to tap on don't use. I'm not going to use a passcode either, so I'm going to continue continue and we're going to tap on get started on the iPod touch itself and as you can see we have the all new health app as well as an update to what looks like the passbook icon as you can see it now has a credit card stripe up at the top to reflect NFC mobile payments on the upcoming iPhone 6 and 6 plus and I'm going to swipe over here and I also have the new tips app so I'm going to get a closer look at all of this we're going to launch the settings app and I'm going to to show you that I am indeed on iOS 8. I just wanted to let you guys know in case you happen to see it in the video that iTunes is just giving me a really quick message stating that the sync couldn't be completed. Don't worry, we're not even intending to sync. We just updated to iOS 8 GM. So I'm going to click OK to this trivial message here. And now inside of settings general about down below at the bottom for the version, you will notice instead of 7.1.2, we now have 8.0 confirming that the update was completed successfully. So I'm going to close out of this really quick and we're going to go back to some of the new iOS 8 apps before concluding. So again, just to show you guys really quick, we have the new health app. I'm going to swipe through this in the health data. We're going to go to all. And as you can see, we have the fully functioning health app for iOS 8. I'm going to get back into focus there because I went out of focus for a second. And we're going to go to the home screen and then back to the tips app, which just tells you how to use some of the new improvements and features found inside of iOS 8. All right, now that's it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did and you're interested in my $100 Amazon gift, Giveaway, as well as my upcoming Apple Watch giveaway. Once the device is officially released, just be sure to rate this video up, leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section, and visit bit.ly forward slash getfreeapplife or freeapplife.com inside of mobile Safari. Once downloaded, install sponsored apps for points and redeem said points for various prizes, including paid application codes, gift cards, and bigger electronic devices. Also, if you happen to miss out on the iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus, and Apple Watch unveiling, just be sure to check out my channel. I did do two separate videos. The first one is actually on the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. It's both devices summarized in under two minutes and the second video is actually the Apple Watch in under two minutes. So if you're interested in either of those again just be sure to check out my channel. I should also have annotations up on the screen now too somewhere around here. If you're on the desktop version of YouTube just be sure to check those out and again that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy your updated device on iOS 8 GM and don't forget as of now you can can still downgrade back to iOS 7.1.2 simply by entering DFU mode and hitting the restore button because Apple's still signing 7.1.2. So it's a great opportunity to update to iOS 8 GM, test it out, and downgrade back to 7.1.2 and re-jailbreak. And of course, like always, if you guys want to be updated more often, such as when I release new videos covering various things like iOS 8, the iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus, the all new Apple Watch, as well as the next untapped Tethered Jailbreak. Just be sure to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, add me one of your circles inside of Google+, and follow me on Instagram at ICUID. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out.